My name is Pooja. Welcome to this week's episode of Around the World. We often come across terms like democracy, parliament, parliamentary system, representation of the people, rule of law and supremacy of the citizen. These terms determine good governance. But do you know when did these terms come into use or when did these terms get their practical meaning? It is generally believed that these terms gained popularity after the glorious revolution of 1688. It is only after this historical event known as the bloodless revolution that the world's first modern democracy was established in Britain. However, there is no consensus regarding the establishment of the world's first democracy in Britain as some political experts believe that the first democracy was established in America. However, the glorious revolution is known as bloodless revolution because with this revolution the king of England was removed from the power and the governance of England also changed. But these historical feats were achieved without shedding a drop of blood. After this revolution, the first modern parliament was established in Britain and the parliamentary system of government came into existence. Till then, there was neither parliament nor parliamentary system in the world. These developments created curiosity in the world. However, today the world has become so familiar with these terms and systems that they often take them less seriously. However, today various things have been added to the system which has been in existence for more than 300 years. Therefore, it must be taken seriously. These things are linked to high democratic values and morals. However, high democratic values and morals are rarely written in the constitution or system of governance of any country. However, high democratic values and morals can be easily seen in the practical governance system of various developed democracies. We can understand it with the recent political developments of Britain. Recently, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson resigned from his post. He had to resign from his post as he had appointed a person accused of sexual misconduct as the deputy chief whip. Hence, he had to resign from his post by taking moral responsibility for making such an appointment. We will understand the whole issue in detail in today's story, but first of all, let us know about Britain. Britain, which at one time ruled most of the world, is located in the northwest part of Europe. It does not share its terrestrial border with any country other than Ireland. However, it shares a close water border with France and Spain through the English Channel. It is bordered by the North Sea in the east and the Atlantic Ocean in the north and the Irish Sea in the west. Britain which has a glorious history is among the 10 largest economies in the world the current system of britain consists of four republics england scotland northern ireland and wales together they all form the united kingdom its official capital is london which is located in the southern part of england moreover england scotland and wales are collectively called great britain These three republics are part of the British Isles. However, Britain is troubled by its internal political upheaval these days. Recently, two powerful cabinet ministers, Rishi Sunak and Sajid Javid, had resigned from their posts. Later, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson also resigned from his post. All these leaders had to resign from their post due to the appointment of Chris Pincher as the new Deputy Chief Whip. Chris Pincher was accused of sexual misconduct. He was also suspended from the post of Conservative Party MP in the same case last week. However, Pincher has denied the allegations made against him. Pincher was appointed by Boris Johnson as the new Deputy Chief Whip. Therefore, Boris Johnson had to resign from his post by taking the moral responsibility of making such an appointment. Rishi Sunak, who was the finance minister and Sajid Javid who was the health minister of Britain stated that Boris Johnson's decision of appointing a person accused of sexual misconduct as the deputy chief whip is highly condemnable due to this act Boris Johnson has lost the moral authority to serve as the prime minister of Britain in such a scenario it is immoral to serve under Boris Johnson's government Rishi Sunak's family has roots in India and Sajid Javid's family has roots in Pakistan It is being speculated that both these leaders have resigned to consolidate their political positions so that they can lead the government in the future. 
This speculation is also backed by the fact that Rishi Sunak's name has been included in the list of the probable candidates for the post of Prime Minister of Britain. Furthermore, the experts are of the view that these resignations have not only been made due to the appointment of a person accused of sexual misconduct as the Deputy Chief Whip. However, the foundations of removing Boris Johnson from power were laid well in advance. Then, the question arises that what are these foundations which had been laid for removing Boris Johnson from power? Johnson's government was embroiled in various other controversies as well. Consequently, several party MPs pressurised Boris Johnson to resign from the post of Prime Minister. The first case was related to breaking the Covid rules. Actually, a party was organised in the Prime Minister's office on Downing Street during the Covid lockdown. British citizens got anguished with Boris Johnson due to such an immature act. They held that the Prime Minister's office was breaking the Covid rules themselves. Therefore, the police imposed a fine on the Prime Minister. As a result, Boris Johnson became the first Prime Minister of Britain on whom a legal action was taken for breaking the law. The second issue is related to increasing taxes. Some party MPs were against increasing taxes. Inflation is at its peak in Britain these days. At present, inflation in Britain has increased to about 9%. However, some of the factors responsible for rising inflation were beyond Boris Johnson's control. For example, the rise in oil prices and food costs due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Meanwhile, the government had lifted the duty on fuel. However, the taxes were also increased in April 2022. The government argued that the money raised from increasing taxes would be used for health and social care. Another factor responsible for Boris Johnson's resignation was the decreasing mandate of the government. His party lost in the by-elections held in June 2022. The defeat in by-elections led to the resignation of Conservative Party chief Oliver Dowden. As a result, pressure on Boris Johnson mounted to resign from his post. The next case pertains to Owen Paterson. A House of Commons committee recommended the suspension of the then Conservative MP Owen Paterson for 30 days in October 2021. The committee had held that he had lobbied to benefit the companies supported by him by bypassing the rules. However, the Conservative Party, led by Boris Johnson, voted in favour of stopping Owen Paterson's suspension. Boris Johnson also constituted a new committee to oversee the investigation being made in this matter. However, Paterson had to resign after much uproar. Later, Johnson himself admitted that he had made a huge mistake in handling this matter. By then, the matter had gone out of Johnson's hand. Some critics are also of the view that Boris Johnson lacks focus and ideas. Dominic Cummings, who had previously been an advisor to Boris Johnson, also agreed with the critics' opinion. He had also accused Boris Johnson of being uncontrollable. Several critics have also questioned Prime Minister Boris Johnson's approach and philosophy. All these reasons are attributed to the resignation of British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Now, the Prime Minister has resigned and his government has fallen. Hence, it will be interesting to see whether the new head of the government will be able to deal with all these issues. In the next segment of the Sunday special episode of Around the World, we will discuss some other important international news. Talks were held in Kenya's capital Nairobi between the leaders of Sudan and Ethiopia regarding the disputed area of Al-Fashka. The leaders of both the countries have agreed to settle this dispute. Recently, tensions between both the African countries had escalated over the Al-Fashka area. Al-Fashka area located within the international borders of Sudan has been disputed for a long time. However, the Ethiopian farmers resolved this dispute through mutual negotiations. In recent years, this controversy has deepened again with the construction of a hydroelectric dam by Ethiopia. Germany and Nigeria had signed agreements for the return of plundered Benin bronze. Several of these Benin bronzes date from the 16th to 18th century and it includes various bas reliefs and statues. This plunder is part of huge amount of treasury plundered from the royal palace of the Kingdom of Benin during an 1897 British colonial campaign since this region of the Kingdom of Benin is now part of southwestern Nigeria. Hence, Nigeria is the heir to this historical heritage. Significantly, France and Britain have also returned some amount of Benin bronze to Nigeria. The West African country Ghana is in the news due to its crumbling economy. Ghana's inflation reached around 27%, that is the highest level in 18 years, in May 2022. Consequently, the prices of commodities started increasing in the country. 
in such a scenario, the citizens of Ghana who were facing extreme financial difficulties have started protesting against the government hence. The government of Ghana has announced to seek financial assistance from the International Monetary Fund. Ghana, formerly known as the Gold Coast, became the first sub-Saharan nation to attain independence from colonial rule. It attained independence from British rule in 1957. Ghana shares its borders with Ivory Coast to the west, Burkina Faso to the north, and Togo to the east. In the south, its coastline runs along the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean. Bulgaria started a new dialogue with North Macedonia in June 2022. The dialogue aims at paving the way for North Macedonia to join the European Union. Bulgaria demanded some concessions from North Macedonia in return. This demand pertained to about 3,500 Bulgarians living in North Macedonia. It was demanded that these Bulgarians should also be given a place in the constitution of North Macedonia and they should be given equal rights like the rights granted to the citizens of North Macedonia. However, huge protests were organized in North Macedonia against this concession given by the government. North Macedonia and Bulgaria are both neighboring countries and they are located in the southeast of Europe. North Macedonia shares its borders with Serbia, Kosovo, Bulgaria, Albania and Greece. Bulgaria shares its borders with Romania, Turkey, Greece, North Macedonia and Serbia. Now let us look at today's question. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson had to pay the price for appointing a person accused of sexual misconduct as the Deputy Chief Whip. Comment.